Is this in sync? Hey, Power Director Peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love for Power Director University. If you've got external audio that you need to sync up with the audio from your video so that you have that pristine sound that you're looking for, I'm going to show you how to sync up that audio and get everything on track. Let's jump off into Power Director 14 Ultimate and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 14 Ultimate, and I got to sync the audio of these two clips together. So in track one, I have a video and audio clip. You can tell that because the top part of the track has information on the video track, and then the bottom part has a waveform or information on the audio track. And then down here, I have a audio only clip, and you can tell that because there is nothing in the video track and then there is waveform information in the audio track. Now, this video and audio clip that I have up here, the audio is already loud, but it's too loud and there's noise in it and there's all type of things that I fixed in the other audio clip. Now, the other audio clip is audio that I recorded externally using a external uh, microphone and a Tascam DR70D. So basically, this just creates a waveform from the Tascam DR70D and I have to line it up with my video so that everything looks synchronized, which is why it's called audio sync. So in order to sync them, what I need to do is left click on the top video and audio clip and then hold down my control key on my keyboard and left click on the audio clip. Now there is a sync by audio button that is available. If I click on that, Power Director is going to sync these two clips using the waveform information to match them up perfectly. So I'm going to click on sync by audio. And now you see that it moved the clips where the waveforms match up. Now, if you zoom in on this, you can tell that they're not aligned here because the record button was pressed at a different time on the task cam than it was pressed on the video camera. But the waveforms are aligned perfectly. So now there's a few options that you can do to make sure that only the correct audio is heard. First thing you can do is you can click on this clip here to mute the audio of the video track. And so now this audio will not be heard anymore. The only audio that will be heard is the audio in track two. So now you're good to go. The other option, an option that I like to use is I click on the audio and video clip and then I right click it. And then after that, I select unlink slash link video and audio. The next thing I do is I move my playhead to a position where I'm fine with, well, I know that I'm, this is like part of the video that I'm not going to use wherever I know I'm not going to use that part of the video. I'll move my playhead somewhere over there and I will click on an empty space in a timeline and then I'll click the split timeline button. And then I'll go to the end and do the same thing. And then I make sure that my playhead is somewhere that it's covering the audio and the video, like the clip so that I know everything's going to be perfectly aligned when I'm done. So when I get my playhead where I want at the end, I click on split. And now I go ahead and left click and hold down my control key and I click all the parts that I don't need. Now I click remove and I'm going to choose remove and leave gap right now. 
And now I'm also going to click on this audio here because I don't need this anymore because I have the audio is already synchronized down here. And guess what? Because I split the clips, now they're exactly the same size, the same duration, and everything. So now when I click on remove the selected clip, it will only remove the audio from the video clip. And now I can either drag the, the video down or the audio up, doesn't matter which one. So I'm gonna click on the audio and I'm gonna drag it up until I see the red line is at the front of the clip and the black line is at the back of the clip. That means that they are perfectly aligned. And because my audio was already put into the right place and I split all the clips, everything should be perfect. My audio should be perfect now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm gonna left click the video so that the audio and video are both selected. Now I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click on link, unlink video and audio. Now I have linked the audio from my external Tascam DR70D to my video and everything is synced up. So if I play this, Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen. Everything is synced up beautifully. So now I can trim this, it'll trim everything. I can split it and my audio and my video are all synced up and I can edit it however I need to. You're welcome. Hey Power Director peeps, thanks for watching the video all the way through to the end. I truly appreciate that. If you like the content that I'm bringing to you, make sure that you click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, all right? Shows people that the content in this video is good. If you got questions, you need help, go ahead and leave me a comment below. I'll be sure to get back at you. If you got an idea for a video, do the same thing. Leave me a comment. And last but not least, if you want more Power Director goodness like this every other Saturday, you have to smash the subscribe button. When you do that, it lets you know that I've uploaded content to YouTube so you can drop in and check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.